Hi, this is Mrs. Sloan, and I am going to teach you the song to remember cellular respiration. I have already done the one for photosynthesis. I'll try to loop them all together if you would like to do that. Um, so I've already done the explanatory and detailed videos about cellular respiration. This is just the song to help you learn what I already taught in those other videos, all right? So I'm going to start with um, explaining about glycolysis, first of all. So if you recall, as I get the right slide here, this is the small, short version of glycolysis, right? But remember, it's 10 different steps, 10 different enzymes. I'm not gonna reteach that part to you right now. But what I do want to do is I wanna show you the song you can learn um, to go along with glycolysis, all right? So in glycolysis, remember, you start out with a glucose molecule. So this is what my students do, we start out with glucose. Okay, and when you t do glycolysis, you're gonna ultimately break the glucose in half into two pyruvic acids. So we go two pyruvic acids because there are three carbons in pyruvic acids. And throughout the 10 steps, you're using 10 different steps and you're doing 10 different enzymes, right? Each one facilitating one step in that reaction. Now, to get the party started, you have to spend two ATP, but you net out, because uh, you get four ATP back, you net two ATP out of it. Spend two, get four back, net two. You also reduce two NAD. So that is part of the first part of the song for glycolysis. Also, um, remember that all cells do cellular respiration of some form. All cells do it. And the first step is always glycolysis and it always occurs in the cytoplasm. Okay, so let me help you. So what are we gonna do? Cellular respiration. What's the first step? Glycolysis. Who does it? All cells. Where do they do it? In the cytoplasm. What do you start out with? Glucose. How many carbons? Six. What are we gonna do? Break it in half. How many steps? 10. How many enzymes? 10. What are these called? Two pyruvic acids. And you reduce some NAD and make some ATP. Two. Okay. That is glycolysis. Now, what you do after glycolysis depends on whether you have oxygen or not. Okay. If you don't have any oxygen, then your second step is going to be a form of fermentation. So here is still the glycolysis. If we have no oxygen, I'll say, oh no, we don't have any oxygen. What are we going to do? And you're going to tell me, fermentation with as little oxygen as possible when you explain that. And then we have two choices, right? You're either going to make lactic acid, which is the choice you and I would do, right? Um, and th that's the only choice we have. Um, and that will make your muscle sore or you will make ethanol, okay? And ethanol um, is what plants and yeast do, but they release two carbon dioxides in the process, all right? So we're at the point where I say, uh, Reduce some NAD, right? And make some ATP, two. And we jump right here back to our pyruvic acids that we ended up with, right? Here we are. And I say, oh no, we don't have any oxygen. What are we gonna do? And you're gonna go fermentation. And I'll say, how many choices do we have? Sorry, I gotta back up. <laughs> you gotta, gotta do the whole thing, okay? And I'll say, how many, how many choices do you have? And you're gonna say, and you're gonna say two. And I'll say, you and I make, lactic acid. So here are the three carbons in our pyruvic acid, and we're just converting those into lactic acid. So you go lactic acid makes our muscles sore. And then you pop right back here so you can do the second choice. And you're going to, I'm going to say uh, um, plants and yeast make, and you're going to go like this. You're going to bring your hands down over here, but you're going to take your three carbons and make them into two. Remember, because when plants do it, they release CO2. So you're going to blow out and you're going to go like that, to represent the carbon dioxide. And you're, these are called alcohol. So you'll go, whew, alcohol. Either way, you oxidize your NAD. Remember, the whole reason you're doing fermentation is the NAD that you reduced in glycolysis, you've got to oxidize it back up, right? So you can use it again in glycolysis, all right? Okay, so whole thing, um, anaerobic respiration. What's the whole thing called? Cellular respiration. First step, glycolysis. Who does it? 
all cells. Where do they do it? In the cytoplasm. What do we start out with? Glucose. How many carbons? Six. What are we going to do? Break it in half. How many steps? Ten. How many enzymes? Ten. What are these called? Two pyruvic acids. And you reduce some NAD and make some ATP. Two. Oh no, we don't have any oxygen. What are we going to do? Fermentation. How many choices do we have? Two. You and I make lactic acid. Makes our muscles sore. Plants and yeast make alcohol. Either way, you oxidize your NAD. All right? Now, aerobic respiration, I'll, I'll just squat over here. Aerobic respiration, let me make myself smaller again, still does, if you look right here, here's aerobic respiration. You still do glycolysis, but you move into the mitochondria for the next step. So let me find you another picture. Okay, here we go. So here you can see glycolysis still takes place, but the next step you're going to do is the transition reaction, and you're going to make acetyl-CoA, and then you'll do the Krebs cycle, and then you'll do the electron transport chain where you generate a bunch of ATP. So the first part is still the same, right? But then I would say to you, oh, we have plenty of oxygen. What are we going to do? And you'll say aerobic respiration. Then I need to show you, to remind you, about the transition reaction. In the transition reaction, you take your two pyruvic acids and you're converting them to two acetyl-CoA. Remember, you remove a carbon. So to indicate that we're removing carbon as CO2, we're going to go, okay? So you bring it across. Different than when we went down, right? So that'll help us remember. We're going across on this one, right? We're going, and you reduce some NAD and you're left with these two acetyl-CoA. Okay, so that's this part right here. So I'm gonna show that part to you in just a minute. Then right after the transition reaction, we go into the Krebs cycle. Now, in the Krebs cycle, you have a two-carbon unit, the acetyl-CoA. You have two of those. We're gonna work with just one of them at a time, and I'm gonna feed them through. Remember, a two-carbon hooks with a four-carbon to make a six-carbon. And when you do that, you're gonna pull off a CO2 and reduce an NAD. So we don't have to say all of that. We're just gonna say, do the bit to represent this right here. When we pull up a carbon, we're down to five. We're gonna do the bit again, because it repeats, and we're down to four. We're gonna make an ATP, reduce an FAD, and reduce an NAD, and then we do the whole thing all over again. All right, so now, I'm gonna do aerobic respiration. The first part we're gonna do really fast, and then I'll teach you the new parts, okay? So what's the whole thing called? Cellular respiration. First step, glycolysis. Who does it? All cells, where do they do it? In the cytoplasm. What do you start out with? Glucose. How many carbons? Six. What are we going to do? Break it in half. How many steps? Ten. How many enzymes? Ten. What are these called? Two pyruvic acids. And you reduce some NAD and make some ATP. Two. Oh, we have plenty of oxygen. What are we going to do? So real breathy, you go aerobic respiration. Okay? Aerobic respiration. And then you go... What we're going to do next, the next step, I'll say, what's the next step called? And you're going to go transition prep. Transition prep, remember, we're going to go from the cytoplasm into the mitochondria. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go, and you reduce some NAD and two, acetyl-CoA, put one away. The only reason we're putting one away is so we can feed one through the Krebs cycle, and then we'll feed the other one through the Krebs cycle. Okay? So here we go. Um, oh, we have plenty of oxygen. What are we going to do? Aerobic respiration. What's the next step called? Transition prep. Here we go. And you reduce some NAD and two acetyl-CoA, put one away. What's the next step called? The Krebs cycle or the citric acid cycle. How many times are we going to do it? Twice, because we have two acetyl-K, two acetyl-CoAs. And when we say the words do the bit, that is just a slonism. That just means you're pulling off the CO2 and you're reducing an NAD, okay? So you go like this, two plus four, okay? And the reason why I'm saying that is preloaded in there is a four-carbon unit and the acetyl-CoA is a two-carbon unit, okay? Two plus four is six. Do the bit, get five. Do the bit, get four. 2 plus 4 is 6. Do the bit means removing a CO2, reducing an NAD. 
And because we had six and we removed, removed one, that's why we have five. We do it again, get four. Then you kind of roll it forward. Make an ATP, that's substrate level phosphorylation. Then back it up. Reduce an, reduce an FAD, reduce an NAD. And you're just going to do those in alphabetical order. F comes before N, okay? Reduce an FAD, reduce an NAD. And then you do it all over again. And... Two plus four is six, do the bit, get five, do the bit, get four. Make an ATP, reduce an FAD, reduce an NED, and stop. Now, the next part is called the electron transport chain. And the electron transport chain is happening on the inner membrane of the mitochondria, which you would remember would be called the cristae, right? And so let me show you a picture of it. Okay, so here's a picture. So you gather up all your reduced NADs and FADs that you made in glycolysis, transition prep, and the Krebs citric acid cycle or TCA cycle, right? You gather all those NADs and FADs and you take them to the top of the ETC. Uh-uh. And the reason why I go uh-uh is because not all of them go to the top, okay? The ones that don't go to the top um, is FI FAD that's made Per, one per turn of the Krebs citric acid cycle, and potentially the NAD from glycolysis, um, it will hand off its electrons to FAD and not actually go in as NAD, but hand it to FAD, and that comes in a little bit lower. So we say, uh-uh. We then do a na 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 which represents our electron transport chain. And then we remember the three places where hydrogens are pumped from the matrix into the intermembrane space, and that would be reductase, reductase, cytochrome oxidase, standing for right here. Reductase, and then right here is another reductase, and then the last one is cytochrome oxidase. Reductase, reductase, cytochrome oxidase, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say well, you make some ATP. Now, you're gonna go a lot of it, a lot of it, a lot of it, three times, because with, with each powerful NAD that you have, that means three hydrogens come in, so you make three ATP, and then we'll say or, and the or stands for the ones that come in a little bit lower, so you'll just say a lot of it, a lot of it, right? So three or two, so those are our two options on how much ATP we make for each run of the electron transport chain, depending on what level our electrons come in at, okay? And then who catches it at the bottom is oxygen forming water. Okay, now um, let me make myself a little bit bigger, okay? And we'll do just the electron transport chain and then we'll put the whole thing together. All right, so we just finished the two plus four is six. We just did that twice, right? And we said, and stop. Then you go gather all the reduced NADs and FADs and take them to the top of the ETC. Uh -uh. Okay, remember, it's the top of the chain and some come in a little bit lower. Take them to the top of ETC. Uh uh. A na 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 na. Reductase, reductase, cytochrome oxidase. We are bringing hydrogen ions from the matrix out into the inner membrane space. Reductase, reductase, cytochrome oxidase. And you make some ATP. A lot of it, a lot of it, a lot of it, or a lot of it, a lot of it. Remember, you're either making three or two ATP depending on where you come in on the chain, right? And then we say, who catches the electrons at the bottom? Oxygen forming water. Now, for my students who already know the photosynthesis song, we know this water then leads us into the photosynthesis song that we do for that too, right? And I'll loop those at the end. So let's do the whole thing for aerobic respiration from the top. You ready? Okay. So what's the whole thing called? Cellular respiration. What's the first step? Glycolysis. Who does it? All cells. Where do they do it? In the cytoplasm. What do you start out with? Glucose. How many carbons? Six. What are we going to do? Break it in half. How many steps? Ten. How many enzymes? Ten. What are these called? Two pyruvic acids. And you reduce some NAD and make some ATP. Two. Oh. We have plenty of oxygen. What should we do? Aerobic respiration. What's the next step called? Transition prep. Here we go. And you, oh, whoops. And you reduce some NAD and two acetyl-CoA, put one away. What's the next step called? 
Krebs cycle, right? And how many times we're going to do it? Twice because we have two acetyl CoA. Every time we say the words do the bit, we're reducing an NAD and pulling off a CO2. So here we go. And two plus four is six. Do the bit, get five. Do the bit, get four. Make an ATP, reduce an FED, reduce an NAD. And two plus four is six. Do the bit, get five. Do the bit, get four. Make an ATP, reduce an FED, reduce an NAD, and stop. Gather all the reduced NADs and FADs and take them to the top of the ETC. Uh uh. A na 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 na. Reductase, reductase, cytochrome oxidase, and you make some ATP. A lot of it, a lot of it, a lot of it, or a lot of it, a lot of it. Who catches the electrons at the bottom? Oxygen forming water. Here we go. So that's one water. Water, 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 water. What are we going to do? Break it in half. What do we get? Oxygen and electrons. Sweep, sweep. Here comes the sun traveling in waves. Particles of light are called photons. And it gets the electrons excited. Na 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 PQ. And you make some ATP. Mm. Here comes the sun traveling in waves. Particles of light are called photons. And it gets the electrons excited. Na 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 Who catches it? NADP forming reduced NADP. Then you... Take some ATP and some reduced NADP to the dark reaction or the Calvin cycle or the light independent reaction. You ready? 3C5 plus 3C1 makes 3C6. Break down to 6C3. Use some ATP. Use some reduced NADP on your 6C3. Take one away, PGAL, G, 3P, jazz hands. And you're left with 5C3, use some ATP to build 3C5 plus 3C1 makes 3C6, breaks down to 6C3. Use some ATP, use some reduced NADP on your 6C3. Take one away, glucose, jazz hands. And you're left with 5C3. Use some ATP to build 3C5. Stop. Now pick up that glucose. Let's do it anaerobically. Ready? Okay, so cellular respiration, first step, glycolysis. Who does it? All cells. Where? In the cytoplasm. What do we start out with? Glucose. How many carbons? Six. What are we going to do? Break it in half. How many steps? Ten. How many enzymes? Ten. What are these called? Two pyruvic acids. And you reduce some NAD and make some ATP. Two. Oh no, we don't have any oxygen. What are we going to do? Fermentation. How many choices do we have? Two. You and I make lactic acid. Makes our muscles sore. Plants and yeast make alcohol. Either way, you oxidize your NAD. And that, my friends, is cellular respiration and photosynthesis back to back. I hope that was helpful.